What is the difference between eagles and hawks? Birds of prey are some of nature's most remarkable creatures. From their incredible senses to their unbelievable athleticism, these birds are just super cool. And no conversation about birds of prey is complete without talking about eagles and hawks, the rulers of the sky. But just what is an eagle? And what is a hawk? Are these terms just variations of the same creatures? Or are there real differences between them? Let's talk about it. Eagles The word eagle is actually a common name for many of the larger members of the Accipitridae family of birds of prey. However, a bunch of other birds like hawks, kites, harriers, and vultures also fall under this family, which has a total of 75 genera and 256 species. Within the taxonomic family, eagles are further classified into several genera. One particular genus, Aquila, is home to the true eagles. Other genera with eagle species include Hieratus, Oreatus, Spizaster, Nisatus, and Ictinatus. That said, while eagles are not so neatly classified, there is a general rule of thumb. An eagle is an accipitridae bird large enough to hunt prey that is at least 19 inches long. The word eagle is a derivative of the Latin word aquila. These birds are large and robust, and armed with formidable beaks and talons. The smallest eagles, like the booted eagle, Hieratus panatus, are quite similar in size to average-sized hawk species, but are still noticeably superior when it comes to wing size and flight speed. At the other end of the size spectrum, we have beasts like the Philippine eagle, Pithecophaga jeffergi, and South America's harpy eagle, Harpia harpesia. The former has an average weight of 18.25 pounds, while the latter is about 14 pounds. Of course, average means that some individuals within the species grow much, much larger. In fact, within the raptor kingdom, only some vulture species and condors can rival or outgrow the largest eagles. Interestingly, when it comes to size, sexual dimorphism favors females, which can be nearly 50% larger than their male counterparts. Physically, eagles are built for fast and powerful flight, facilitated by huge chest muscles. While they can fly very high, they are not extreme altitude soarers like vultures and condors, which have equally extreme wingspans. Eagles are renowned super predators that tackle prey in the air, land, and water. Most species are quite versatile when it comes to menu items, but a few others may specialize in fish or snakes. Generally, diet includes mammals like rodents, hares, and small ungulates, as well as reptiles, amphibians, and other birds. They prefer live prey, but they are not above scavenging carrion or bullying smaller birds of prey away from their kills. Many of the larger species are apex predators, which means there is no one above them in the food chain. Their main threats stem from human activity, habitat destruction, pollution, ingesting of animals poisoned by pesticides, and infrastructure like power lines. They rely on their exceptional eyesight to spot and identify targets. Eagles can see up to six times as far as humans, with up to twice the acuity. This vision is what allows golden eagles, Aquila crisatos, to spot rabbits from hundreds of feet in the air, or African fish eagles, Haliaetus vocifer, to see catfish wriggling a few inches below the water's surface. When attacking, they pump their chests to flap their wings furiously to gain altitude, or they tuck their wings to swoop down. They can snatch other birds in mid-flight, or small mammals clean off the ground, or fish straight out of the water. The jungle-dwelling harpy eagle easily pulls monkeys and sloths from their canopy refuges. Golden eagles have also been documented harassing mountain goats off cliffs to force lethal falls. Tortoises can be dropped from great heights to crack and break shells. Their iconic talons are the key to grabbing and gripping prey. Some of the larger birds have talons similar to grizzly bear claws in size and length. These talons are also used for killing by impaling some vital body parts, like the head. The beak is how they rip flesh and eat. They have heavier and more robust beaks than most other birds of prey, which means they are the best at cutting into victims. Using their talons for grip, eagles will bite into their food and use their powerful legs to pull up 
and the force is usually enough to tear flesh. So where are eagles found? Well, they have a near global distribution, though they are not found in Antarctica. Australasia, the Americas, Eurasia, and Africa all have at least two common eagle species. They live in various kinds of habitats – forests, mountains, deserts, tundras, and more. Breeding pairs often set up in very high places like treetops or cliffs. They have complex social dynamics, territorialism, and many species mate for life. An eagle pair generally lays two eggs, but the larger sibling often kills the smaller one, which is pretty hardcore. Parents don't intervene in these lethal sibling squabbles, probably because the cost of raising one chick is far lower than raising two. Eagles are among the most iconic of all birds, not just raptors. Many cultures through the ages have adopted them as symbols of strength, rulership, dominance, and overall excellence. The United States has the bald eagle as its national animal, and many countries have a similar level of reverence for these incredible birds. You'll also find eagles or eagle symbology in various religions, sports teams, and companies. Recent NFL Super Bowl champions the Philadelphia Eagles are a notable example. Hawks Like eagles, hawks are not perfectly sorted into one family or genus. In other words, they are also scattered throughout the wider Accipitridae family, alongside New World vultures, kites, harriers, and eagles. And this can be… confusing, to say the least. Another major contributor to the confusion is the fact that most casual folks refer to most Accipitridae birds smaller than eagles as hawks. In other words, a hawk is an Accipitridae bird that cannot hunt prey that is 18 inches long or more. Even falcons, which aren't even in the same family as hawks and eagles, sometimes have hawk as part of some localized common name. The fast-flying peregrine falcon, for example, is called the duck hawk in some parts of the world. To help minimize confusion, scientists have come up with two major subfamily groupings to distinguish true hawks or buzzards from other accipitrids and birds of prey. The first group is Budionini, or the hawk buzzards and includes species like Harris's hawk, Parabudio unisinctus, Rufus crabhawk, common buzzard, Budio budio, zone-tailed hawk, Budio abonotatus, and eastern buzzard, Budio japonicus, among others. The second grouping is the Accipitrini subfamily, also known as the true hawks. This includes species like the Gabber goshawk, Myconissus gabber, long-tailed hawk, Urotriorchus macrorus, lizard buzzard, Calpifalco monogramicus, and the Shikra, Tachyspiza badia. However, regardless of the specific subfamily or species, hawks are identifiable by their sharp angular looks, curved beaks, and fairly robust bodies, though they aren't as robust as eagles. They generally have smaller wings than eagles too, though their bodies are similarly suited to short, explosive flight. Hawks, of course, are pretty adaptable and opportunistic, like most of nature's top predators. Their famously sharp eyes never miss a thing, which is why highly perceptive people are said to have the eyes of a hawk. Human eyes have 200,000 photoreceptors, compared to a Budionine hawk's 1 million. Additionally, hawk eye receptors are attached to more nerves, and the elongated nature of the eyeballs afford the birds a longer focal length allowing them to see much further away. In practice, hawks have five to six times better eyesight than humans, and they can spot tiny prey from tremendous distances. Hawks also tend to score higher than other raptors on the avian IQ test, which was invented by famous ornithologist Louis Lefebvre. Their intelligence is said to be on par with cats and dogs. They show remarkable levels of adaptability, improvisation, and puzzle solving, especially when food is involved. Hawks' near-global distribution proves that they are just as adaptable as eagles when it comes to habitat. That said, many Budionine hawks are better suited to wide open areas, allowing them to soar and scout for prey with minimal obstruction. Because of this habitat preference, Budionine hawks have evolved larger wings and shorter tails than Accipitrine hawks. Accipitrine hawks, on the other hand, are far more comfortable in woodland environments, relying on their exceptional visual acuity to spot prey in surroundings that provide camouflage. Hawks in this subfamily also have short, broad wings and long tails to facilitate short, agile flying between the trees. One major difference between hawks and eagles, though, 
is that hawks are largely migratory. While eagles tend to be territorial, hawks migrate to warmer climes before winter sets in. As a whole, hawks go after a wide variety of smallish animals. They are largely generalist hunters, but a few species do specialize and have preferences for animals like snakes. Common prey includes rodents, lizards, snakes, other birds, fish, rabbits, and frogs. Various killing techniques are used, and most involve their needle-sharp talons and beaks. Prey can be impaled, slashed, clubbed, or dropped from the sky, depending on what the situation requires. Like eagles, hawks prefer gliding overhead before going in for the kill. Of course, despite their impressive hunting skills, hawks are not above scavenging the odd bit of carrion. They will bully smaller birds and steal free meat whenever they can. Scavenging is far more common in lean periods of the year or when raising chicks, which is a tall order for hawk parents. Like eagles and many other bird species, hawks parent cooperatively, and some species even mate for life. Chicks are entirely dependent on their parents for the first few months of their lives, but are ready to take wing at around six weeks old. Parents take turns going out to find food to bring back to their feathered bundles of joy. Like eagles, hawks are deeply embedded in many aspects of human culture. The word hawk has been used to name iconic warriors and leaders, and it is often applied in countless military contexts. For instance, leaders who are notoriously pro-war are often called war hawks. In most of their native ranges, the birds are renowned for their cunning, opportunism, and aggression. We also have the practice, or sport, of hawking, which is the use of hawks for hunting. Believed to have originated in Central Asia, hawking has been around for a few thousand years now. The birds are trained to go after any kind of prey they can tackle, with most hawkers preferring animals like hare. Hawks' intelligence, vision, trainability, and natural eagerness to hunt are the core reasons why they are so successful in hawking.